Alright, yo, what's going on everybody? You guys have got the Barkage of the Hidden Games, which I'm back here today for another quick tip video. And today I'm going to be covering how to Maltese on the straight bar. We're going to be going over both grips. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the technical tips and then also some exercises that help me uh, learn both of these variations. Now, it's actually been highly requested that I make different videos going over each Maltese grip. So I think I'm going to do that. However, I'm not quite sure how soon after this video uh, the next one will be it's just I have a lot of video ideas as you guys know today We are going over the straight bar Maltese both of these grips are extremely interesting in my opinion And you guys are gonna find out why the first one we're gonna cover is the pronated Maltese now the reason why this grip is interesting is because some people will tell you I think myself included actually believe that the pronated Maltese is actually the easiest grip for Maltese. The reason for this is when you're doing this, it takes a lot of pressure off of the elbows. However, it does require, um, it does demand a lot from the wrists, okay? <clears throat> so there's a couple different ways to grab the bars. Now, the first method is what I think is the best method and the way that I recommend doing it. And that is to take three fingers on the three fingers over the bar and then your pinky is going to go underneath the bar like so <clears throat> and as you're leaning in you want your wrists to come backwards and you're going to <clears throat> push against the bar like that um so i'm not going to actually do it now because i can't do a maltese at the moment but um you guys saw at the beginning of the clips so anyway when you're doing this Shoulders are going to be internally rotated and you're going to think about your wrists coming backwards as you lean into it. And so a great way to practice this is to do a pronated grip Maltese lean. So here we go with the first one. Okay. Just like that. Wrists are coming backwards. <clears throat> and yeah, a lot of strain on the wrists, but the elbows feel really, really good in this um, variation. Okay, the other way that you guys can do it, and this is the way that I really don't recommend, and I honestly, like, don't understand really why some people opt to do it like this, but I do know quite a few people that do, and that is to grab it with your entire hand, and it just demands a lot more wrist mobility if you grab the bar like that. I mean, I guess you could argue that since you have your full hand on the bar, you can get more power. Um, but personally for me, like I can't even really lean into it. I, yeah, I can't even lean into it, uh, with the full hand grip. I have to have my pinky under and even comparing the amount of pressure I can apply to the bars, it still even feels like I can apply more pressure when I have my pinky over the bar cause I can actually move my wrist. Um, okay. <clears throat> so that is the pronated grip Maltese and next one up is the supinated grip Maltese. Now this Maltese may not apply as much pressure to the wrist but this one is going to be an absolute nightmare for your elbows unfortunately uh, whereas pronated might be arguably one of the easiest Maltese grip supinated is arguably one of the hardest so be careful with this one guys it's also a pretty high risk injury move okay <clears throat> so once again, with supinated grip, um, you can actually do it with internally rotated <clears throat> shoulders. And, and I actually try to do that. I just feel like internal rotation is a lot more powerful on essentially every skill. So with supinated Maltese, you're going to come, you're going to grab the bars. Again, try to get that internal rotation going. <clears throat> As you lean in, instead of your wrists going backwards they are actually going to come forward okay so watch this i'm leaning in <sighs> my wrists are coming forward like so and i'm still pushing if you you want to think about sort of pushing down and back on the bars if that makes sense <clears throat> and the best way to get these variations i found were was simply just uh leans leans really helped me the most leans and also lean to press so i'll show you guys lean to press this was actually in one of my other videos the planche uh, 
bicep workout. I really, really like this. I think it's a very helpful exercise, and it's one thing I just really feel like I really got better at uh, at least supinated Maltese when I started working these. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. You're just going to come in, catch your supinated Maltese lean. I like to hold it for maybe three to five seconds. So one, two, three, four, and then up, down again, up. Yeah, and you guys get the picture just like that for reps. <clears throat> um, but yeah, just basically be patient with both these variations and uh, you will hopefully be able to get them. Anyway, guys, uh, like I said, I will keep doing other variations. I'm not sure which one will be next. So go ahead and comment below the uh, Maltese variation that I should do next for the next uh, like technique <clears throat> uh, tutorial video. Um, and I will pick the one that has the most upvotes. So yeah, be sure to leave a comment, hit me with a nice subscribe, no jutsu, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.